like our next presenter. Who knows Chris Jones here? <laughs> Blouski. <laughs> How's your lady? Is it a thing or what? I'm sorry, because I gotta go back stage with you. <laughs> Hi. Thank you. I'm here to tell you why I love cities, but first, I'm gonna tell you why I like cities. First thing I like about cities is cities are good for business. Uh, recently, Adidas fell to the number three spot in sportswear for the U.S. They admitted a reason for this is they can't get uh, people to move to their headquarters in Herpagon Pacific Lab, Bavaria. It has 23,000 people and does not have any of the amenities that young uh, creative types look for in a city, like dense, walkable downtowns, efficient transportation systems, and foodie type restaurants. Second reason I like cities. Cities are good for the environment. That may seem counterintuitive at first, but living in a city, you do pollute a lot less than if you lived in the suburbs. The main reason for this is cars. And now for the defining issue of our day. Cities are good for climate change. There are a lot of mayors out there who are, who are enacting and enforcing laws to reduce carbon emissions and to reduce the effect of a heat island, um, while Congress is just spinning its wheels like Congress does. Speaking of change, <laughs> cities are good for my pocketbook. That's why I like them. On average, uh, uh, someone living in a city, I will, is living in a city, I will spend only 18%, everything else the same, over a living expensive. So I love cities because they're good for business, they're good for the environment, and they're good for my pocketbook. That's why I like cities. It's not why I love cities. It's not what gets me up in the morning about cities. But first, let's take a step back. We live in what is arguably the most individualistic and thus lonely society in the history of the entire history of human civilization. <laughs> Who's responsible for this? How did this come to be? Who benefits from it? We the people certainly don't. It's easy and it's fun to blame the big corporations, but I blame, I think we should blame ourselves for letting ourselves be sold big houses with big yards with big fences separating us. And then we have big garages so we can slide our big butts right into our big suburbans. And then uh, we have these big couches we put in front of big TVs that we pay big cable bills to companies that we probably have a big hate for. And then, and then when we're all separated and comfortable, then each and every one of us gets to buy one of everything. Why does my grill and my lawnmower sit, or why don't I share my grill and my lawnmower with my neighbors when it sits unused in my garage 99.997% of the time? I <laughs> love cities because they keep me from being comfortable. I love cities because I step out my front door and I interact with people who have different opinions than I do. I'm forced to have my worldview, my worldview change every single day. I love cities because knowledge spill over. I'm lost. <laughs> Important things about knowledge spill over. I love cities because when I step outside my front door, I don't see a whole bunch of houses that are exactly like mine filled with people who are exactly like me. Um, I get to see what somebody else thinks is great about a house. I get to see the physical manifestation of knowledge spill over. Cities bring us together. The more time we spend with people, the more empathy we have about their problems, and the less cynical we'll be about their behavior. I fucking love cities because it tricks me into being a better person. So how can you harness all there is to offer from a city? I say, go to an event where you hear what people other people love. Uh, basically, keep doing what you're doing right now at Ignite Denver. One more thing, if you do, if you do value stability and predictability and rootedness, and for some reason you still drink your coffee out of a coffee pot, People still do that. It's so yeah. easy. Yes. Yeah. That's fine. I'm not here to take suburbia away from you. 
Uh, these are just, this is just what I love. You don't have to like it. Um, that, even if you do value these things, value something different than I do, I would still love to meet you and build a community with you. Woo! You can find me here tonight, or you can find me here forever. Thank you. <laughs> Christian!